Welcome back to Cord Cutters Live, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fully install the latest, most recent stable version of the Media Player Kodi on your Amazon Fire Stick or Android TV streaming device. As of the recording of this video, that would be version 20.2 Nexus. Depending on the streaming device you have and the region where you live, you might not find this official application in the Amazon App Store. You could go right to the Kodi website and get it, but like a lot of these app developer websites, it could be hard to find precisely what you're looking for. Well, I've taken all the guesswork out of finding and installing Kodi version 20.2. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. So if you're ready to learn how to install the most popular media player on your Amazon Fire Stick or Android TV streaming device, grab your remotes and let's go. If you're new to Cord Cutters LI, where we try to help you save money on your cable bill, please click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Doing this will make sure you don't miss out on any new videos as they come out and it helps to support the channel. Hold on to those remotes for just a minute more as I get this out of the way for YouTube's sake. This video is intended to show you how to install this media player on your streaming device. It may do a better job of it, but it's no different than any other media player by definition. Just like Microsoft Media Player, for example, or even a web browser. You can play your own media with it. You can access media with it. I am not showing you how to get free movies with it. I am not showing you how to get free sports with it. I am not showing you how to get anything free with it. I'm showing you how to install the media player called Kodi version 20.2. So with that being said, pick those remotes back up and let's get ready to learn. All right, here we go. So to get started, you're gonna need the downloader app, which I have right here on my Amazon Fire Stick. This is the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation, but this process will work on all of your Fire Sticks, pretty much whatever version you have. If you don't have downloader yet, you can just search for it, go to find and click search and just start typing downloader and you'll see it pop up on the list right there. If you don't have it, just install it from there. As you can see, I have it already. We're not gonna open it quite yet because there is a setting that we need to check. So let's go over to the gear and then move down to My Fire TV. Go down to Developer Options. If you don't have Developer Options, in other words, if you just see About and then it goes right to Legal and Compliance without Developer Options in the middle, you wanna click on About and over your device, in my case, the Fire TV Stick 4K Max, you wanna type in that select button seven times and as you do after the seventh time it'll say that you are a developer so let's go back now to developer options and we need to make sure that under install unknown apps downloader is set to on like it is if it's set to off like this just click that button in the center again change it to on and then we can hit the home button now let's go ahead and open up downloader the first time you open it up, you're gonna get this message that says to allow downloader to access photos, media, and files on your device. This is required. If you don't set this um, to allow, this app won't work. So click allow, click okay on this quick start guide too. If you wanna read that, pause the video and you can go ahead and read that. Where it says enter a URL or a search term, this is where you're gonna to wanna to put the short code for the Cord Cutters LI website, which is 893. Six four, and go down and click go. That's going to redirect you in five seconds to the cordcuttersalli.com website. Just to make sure you didn't typo that number. When you get there, you're gonna to wanna to hit the menu button. That's the one with the three lines on your remote two times. That will change it to full screen mode makes it a lot easier to navigate around. Um, this is my website. You can search around here if you want to, but the stuff that we are interested in today is in the tutorial section, which can be found in the menu over here at the top left. This menu is loaded with lots of stuff that you can check out as well. And I do encourage you to do that. However, we are interested in tutorials today and let's click on that. On my tutorials page, you're gonna see all sorts of apps that you can install. We have Fire Stick and Android TV utilities. We have streaming apps. We have some media players, and that's where we are here. We are going to look for this version, Kodi 20.2 Nexus, and go ahead and click on that. That brings us to the Kodi tutorial page, and here you can read up on how to install it step-by-step. -step. 
basically the same steps I'm showing you here in this video. And scroll down towards the bottom, and you're going to want to see where it says this installation all the way here, and click on download. Depending on the speed of your internet connection, this could take a moment. When it gets finished download, you can just go ahead and click install. And when it's finished installing, don't open it quite yet. Click on done, because that allows us to then delete this installation file, move over to click delete, and then move over to the left and click delete again. That removes this installation APK file from your Fire Stick because it's no longer needed and it's just taken up space. So now we can go ahead and hit the home button. Kodi is now installed, and to get that on this top favorites bar, let me show you how to do that. You go over to that applications button, which is the three boxes and the plus, click on that. The last app installed is always going to be at the bottom of your list. So go to the left, that'll get you quickly to the bottom. And there it is right there. Now, if you click that menu button on your remote again, that's the one with the three lines. You'll see the option that says move to front and go ahead and click on that. Click home again, and you'll see that Kodi is there front and center ready for you to open. The first time you open up Kodi, you're going to want to read this. It says Kodi requires access to your device. Click continue. Then you'll see this screen and you can just click while using the app. And one more click on allow. You do need to accept all those permissions for Kodi to work properly. And that's it. It's installed and ready to go. There are just a few days left to get this great deal from IPVanish if you're in the market for a VPN. This is the one that I use and recommend. I have IPVanish installed on all my devices, my cell phone, my tablet, my computer. You'll never see me out using public Wi-Fi without my VPN connected. And while streaming online with any of these streaming devices, I always have my VPN running. I'll put a link in the description below the video. You can click on it. They're running a deal right now. It's going to end in just a few days for $2.99 a month for the two-year package, plus three months free. If you get the one-year or two-year subscription, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you get all your money back if you don't like it or if it doesn't work well for you. So you really have nothing to lose. IP Vanish is one of the favorite partners of Cord Cutters LI, and by clicking on my link to get your subscription, you help to support the Cord Cutters LI channel, and for that, I am grateful. So there you go, quickly and easily installing the latest version of Kodi on your Amazon Fire Stick. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to put some comments down below, or you can email me at info at cordcuttersli.com. I'll be happy to answer your questions. So if you learned anything today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters Ally videos with your friends. Sharing these videos helps to get my video shown to more people, and it really, really helps to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching.